So really, every single one of these bumps you see on the horizon, big or small, are all significant sites of uh, eruption. For all there are, on Newberry Volcano alone, they've mapped out about 500 of these individual cones. Probably in this section of the Cascades and the foothills to the west, they're equal to that many. Given that many, it's surprising that we don't see anything going on. Yeah. You, know? that's true. you shouldn't say that, because I'm yeah. sure they're coming. <laughs> that's the precursor to saying, come on! Yeah. Well, what, do we'll strike do there. Well, what's, what about the thing on the other side of the South Sister? The bulge? Yeah. Yeah. Is that, how active is that? <laughs> what's uh, going on there? They kind of discovered it by accident. Uh, I think it was in 1999. Uh, there was uh, a guy who was uh, uh, an avid outdoor enthusiast who comes to Central Oregon a lot, and he worked for the U.S. Geological Survey up in Alaska using satellite radar images on Alaskan volcanoes to determine when they were swelling. Uh, and he just got curious at one point, since this was a favorite hiking area of his, is whether there could be anything First of all, whether they had any images of the area from the satellites and whether he could determine, use his computers to determine whether anything was going on. And so when he did that, over South Sister, they found this, you know, this blister on the, on the west side, about three miles west of the, of the summit of South Sister, out in, along the Pacific Crest Trail, out in the middle of the wilderness. It wasn't a very high blister. Uh, it's only about a foot high at its highest point, but it covers an area about the size of Portland. Oh, really? So is it? Is it's not like centered under the rock mesa? It, it's broader no, than that, it, and yeah, farther farther to the south. Actually, farther west, to the north. Or the north. highest point is farther to the north. Okay. If you walk along the Pacific Crest Trail past Rock Mesa. You go down into a canyon there. Remember the name of that? Yep, I know the one. Then you hike along further, and there's a place I think it's called Separation Creek. There's another big glaciated canyon up there. And just to the north of it, along Separation Creek, the headwaters of Separation Creek is where the high point is. So when they found that, he turned it over to the Cascade Volcano Observatory, and they got concerned about it. Uh, I mean, as I'll show you a color picture. I don't know if I have one with me today or not, but. I'll when we talk about volcanic hazards in class, I'll show you the image. It looks like a bullseye. Really? <laughs> the rings of deformation include all of the Three Sisters volcanoes as well as Mount Bachelor and, uh, on over to Broken Top. It doesn't go anywhere close to Ben, but uh, covers all the major volcanoes in the area in terms of what's deforming. Huh. So they did some numerical modeling on that, and they, uh, and they think it's... Uh, Probably a low gas magma, maybe a basalt magma rather than a rhyolite magma. And it's de there seems to be some sort of place where it's concentrating this magma about three miles down. And let's see, that one. 